You may remember in series three, we spoke about the, the configuration menu and all the functions. In this series, we're gonna be looking at the cycle menu and all the functions within the cycle menu. Okay, first up, let's turn the select the button to manual. And to get it into our cycle menu, as you can see, it already comes up. But if we want to go to config, we just hit our button here, go to jump to config, then back to cycle menu. So let's move forward. Adjusting the encoder uh, clockwise, the first menu that comes up is PRG, pass pre gas flow time. And we can, uh, this is the amount of gas that starts before the actual arc will start. We can adjust that in seconds, but around about 0.5 of a second is where we really want it. This is THS, hot start timer. Okay, in hot start time, we can adjust the percentage of current that we want to start with, or we, and we can also adjust the voltage in percentage. How much percentage of voltage do we want? Next, RFP is fine setting in pulse. Uh, in pulse welding, this function optimizes droplet detachment according to the variations of composition of wire and gases. If there's fine spatter observed in these settings, uh, that must be changed towards the negative side. If large droplets are, in, are transferred across the settings, then we must move to the positive side. Let's move on. And here we have sequencer timer. This function is actually good for, especially aluminium. It gives you that herringbone effect uh, where you can fluctuate between two current levels and it gives the world a little bit of a instru structural integrity. Here we have time that we set how long we want the world to be on for. And our next is our current, the percentage of current that we're going to be fluctuating from a high to a low. Now we're in downslope time. Downslope enables world big finish with decreasing levels of welding. To ensure a smooth transfer up to world big finish, adjustments may be required to the current and voltage downslope. By moving, by turning this on, it enables the amount of time that we're going to be spending on that downslope. Moving forward, we can then adjust our downslope current in a percentage. Moving forward again, we can then adjust our voltage accordingly. Moving forward, this is burn back control. Um, basically, it's an anti-stick time. We generally leave that around 0 0.05 in seconds. Moving forward. This is, PRS is wire sharpening. Um, at the end of a world cycle, PRS can be used to prevent the formation of a ball at the end of a wire. At which allows a perfect restart. 
So this is ideal for aluminium. It's going to leave the wire nice and sharp, enabling that restart to be nice and smooth. Moving forward, this is post gas flow time. Again, it's in, in seconds. So after we finish the weld, take our finger off the trigger, the gas will continue to flow for the amount of time we have set here. In this case, we've got it set at two seconds. Well, thank you very much for watching Series 4. In Series 5, we'll show you how to calibrate the power source.